Starting with Mary, Mary, you had a really great point about the movie. We just have seen the social network. Mary, share with us a thought. I asked the question whether if Mark had ever met Sean, would we even know about Facebook? So what do we all think about that? If Mark had never met Sean, would Facebook be uh, the, the entity that it is today? Thoughts? Hmm. I'm not sure. I, I don't think it would. I think he was really the... Yes. I think he took it to the next level. Because of uh, uh, the guys, you know, he didn't really care about the money. He just wanted to see how far he could go. And then his partner, he wasn't that concerned about, you know, he, he was going after the little guys. And Sean had the, you know, he had the vision of the next level. He had the billion dollar vision. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and Candace, you, you just said something that you, you feel like there's comments about Facebook having been stolen, and your thought on that is? Um, it wasn't stolen. Um, I come from the IT world, and um, pretty much it's free game. I mean, in our world, is who gets it there first wins. <laughs> so, um, I'm just astounded at the um, magnitude of what it what was able to do. Um, but it just uh, confirms that everything is always right around you. I mean, in the movie, you kind of saw that. Everything was like right there. How it went across the system within a couple hours the first night. How many kids with the girl site went and immediately decided to share it and that that many people were online that time of night and they all went to this other portal and created activity in the middle of the night. Right. Sorry about that. There you and, go. And had it not happened in that little micro environment, it couldn't have happened in a business environment. It had to have been in a closed culture like that. Right. For it to have gotten that in initial action. And it confirms what I always say that I, um, technology allows you to create endless possibilities. You see, I mean, I mean, they was at Harvard, but Harvard didn't do that. It was the technology. Right. You know what I'm saying? But. Everybody's still after that pipe dream of this, and not to negate it, but the, the kids have access to this thing that can help them create an spot if they just open up their mind, but they're chasing all these other things. It's kind of, I mean, he got there because he was chasing a girl. I mean, that was the crust of him. And he, he kept jumping the levels trying to get the girl back. If you know when he got the relationship right, thing, right. it was because the girl wouldn't accept his apology and it inspired him to go back. Right. And that's why I went on to add the other colleges. Mm -hmm. So she can hear about him because she yep. was like, I want to know if she ever friended him. I'm sure she, I'm sure she did. The one thing that he seemed to regret, though, was the comment he made on the blog. Yes. He, was, he was not thinking. Norma, what are your thoughts? The, much like the outliers, he had the 10,000 hours in of how to do it, but he had to have opportunity. And when you put the two together, oh, that's, that's what can happen. That's good. Well, it wasn't just opportunity, though, it was vision, you know, don't you think? Because uh, he he had the opportunity, and yet he didn't have the same vision Sean did. I don't know. All right, turn the camera around. No. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the whole thing came down to him wanting to have relationships, wanting to be included, and, and yet, although he helped those around the world have relationships, apparently in the movie, he still was unsuccessful at having relationships, and thought that was that was very sad. It's interesting, though. I don't hate him quite as much as I did going to the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't respect him, but I don't hate him. <laughs>